Hi, I'm Kristen Griffin from Northrop Grumman. I'm here at the Royal International Air Tattoo uh, for Defense and Aerospace Report with our optionally piloted capability Firebird. Firebird is a new multi-mission system that uh, uh, is built around flexibility. There's a few key elements to the ISR flexibility that Firebird brings. I'll show them to you around the aircraft here. So first, the first element of Firebird's flexibility is its optionally piloted manned, unmanned, or optionally piloted configurations. So looking over at the aircraft, uh, this is currently in the manned configuration. We have a two-seater cockpit with a standard Garmin interface. And around the edges of the cockpit, the seams of this cockpit come right off. This is a two-person, four-hour conversion from manned to unmanned configuration. Over here on the left is a model of our radome that covers our BLOS sat, uh, SATCOM dish. And uh, to convert from manned to unmanned, it's taking off the canopy, take out the seats and the cockpit, put in the BLOS dish, put in the radome, a very simple standard interface conversion, really designed around allowing users to have um, lots of ConOps flexibility in how they use the system and transition between modes. Another key element of the flexibility of the system is it's really built around um, mission flexibility and use flexibility. The landing gear are designed for use on an austere runway and the engine is a standard Lycoming engine um, that's very capable and also uh, very fuel efficient. This is a 30 plus hour aircraft, um, very persistent in both manned and unmanned modes. And um, and the Lycoming engine and, this, uh, and, and, and these landing gear really allow the aircraft to operate from uh, any kind of space that the user would want to go. Walking around the aircraft, I want to show uh, also the payload capability of this system. Uh, this is a multi-mission platform really designed around maximizing the kinds of missions that the users can do with, um, with true open architecture payload flexibility. We have demonstrated on Firebird up to five payloads flying simultaneously performing different ISR missions. We have integrated uh, EOIR, uh, SIGINT, communications payloads, radar payloads, um, and we've operated five of them simultaneously, each doing a separate mission and sending the data down to separate users. Our payload bay we're walking up over here is a 45 cubic foot space that can fit two 19 inch racks and has all the standard interfaces that users would need to integrate payloads coming in um, off of the payload developer shelf or off of a COTS system. Um, we have demonstrated integrating over two dozen payloads into this architecture, and we've done payload swaps in under 30 minutes. With some exercises, we've had users flying the aircraft in the morning, doing a certain set of missions, switching payloads over lunch in under 30 minutes, and flying a whole separate set of missions in the afternoon. All of this combined really speaks to um, how the Firebird system changes how users approach CONOPS and how they perform their missions. The Firebird system provides tremendous flexibility in um, how you develop, how you're gonna go execute a mission. Um, allowing a manned transit of uh, regulated airspace, for example, a quick transition into a missionized unmanned configuration, and then a persistent overwatch of an area of regard. Um, the other thing that we're really focusing on in Firebird is the flexibility of how we're bringing this system to the users. So Northrop Grumman is partnering across industry to bring Firebird in a variety of acquisition models, including direct acquisition, cocoa operations, go cooperations, to make it readily available in a rapid way to users. Firebird has been in a successful flight test program for the past year. We have a number of interested customers across government and industry. Uh, thank you so much for joining us to see this capability. And for more information, please do check out northropgrumman.com slash Firebird. Thank you.